so quick update. Today is Tuesday, right? No, yeah. it's Wednesday. No, Wednesday. it's Thursday. No, no it's, it's Wednesday. Wednesday. Today's Wednesday and tomorrow will be my last day because I leave on Friday morning. But today we are gonna go and get her tire fixed because it's flat. That's that's the whole plan for today. <laughs> now we're gonna go to her. We're gonna go to her school. Blah, blah, blah. We are gonna go to her school later on. And also, I'm gonna meet with one of my friends from Denver. Uh, his name is Miguel. You guys will see. I know him through my brother, and he lives here in Chihuahua. So I'm gonna meet with him and see what's up. And pretty much it. There's like she was telling me. There's not much to do here in Chihuahua because everything else is around. The place. It's a nice view. It's probably gonna take like thirty minutes. So we are done, that was quick and easy. How much was it? Uh, 40. 40 pesos to fix the tire, that was pretty good. He had a screw in it. But now we're gonna go to a conference in her school. This is our good. So we are back in school and... Maybe high school. Yeah, there's a high school too, yeah. so... It's college and high school. I'm sorry, university and high school. But we're going to a conference. What's the conference about? I don't know. Okay, we don't know. Pues el preocupado del central pues está tratando de contenerlo. Otro factor es Irán que pues, lleva décadas no dando dando guerra. Aunque afortunadamente hubo elecciones este año ganó el señor Mohani que parece ser un si es un clérigo también representa a su vez a quien está detrás de la silla en el poder que es el Ayatollah Khomeini. Pero este parece ser más moderado que el anterior presidente, Ahmadinejad. Y pues se tiene más experiencia como negociador en la ONU, etc. Y ya, ya ha logrado sentarse con cinco potencias occidentales a negociar su programa nuclear. El otro aspecto es Siria. El 22 de agosto de repente aparecen 1.400 muertos por armas químicas. Y había... So I am here with my friend Miguel. He went ahead and picked me up from uh, Tecla Monterrey. And we're here just getting pizza. It's a pretty good place actually. I don't know, it's called Chisar. It's uh, Mennonites. And Mennonites are like Amish people. Like the Amish people in the US, but the Amish people of the Mexico is called the Mennonites. And they make these like organic stuff, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's organic. Um, I would say healthy, but not healthy. Yeah. But pretty organic. Yeah, they're known for that. They're, Mennonites are known for their cheese. So. Everywhere in Mexico, they're like, oh, Mennonite cheese. Like, okay. well, there's also another name, right? Huh? Micheladas, and there's another one? Uh, it's, micheladas are like... Just lemon, right? Lemon and a little bit of sauce, but it's like this much. Okay. So these ones are called what? Daivasos. Daivasos. And they have what? They have a... Um, some Maggi sauce, mm -hmm. Maggi sauce, um, tahin, mm -hmm. the chill powder, um, I think uh, Valentina, mm -hmm. salsa Valentina, and, uh, and clamato. And the beer. Clam sauce, and then the beer, which we're about to pour. Yeah. So I was telling, this is a pretty cool place because it's just a liquor store, and then they give you this prepped stuff, and then you, you grab your beer. And it's pretty legit because they don't, they don't have to get like a permit for serving alcohol and you just come outside and drink it. Which is still illegal, but. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just go with it. <laughs> Beers, music. It was just huge. It was fun. Scary. So, wait, what does that take you to? Oh, it's like it's, it's the bus station. Uh, so it's like the central bus station and. Just, just go like you know like the RTV station like the big RTV yeah. station over there yeah just like that it's pretty legit so see like, what he was telling us huh? he made a tunnel yeah so now the traffic doesn't go through here and it comes out on that so, so now they have like a really nice plaza here yeah 
guy fixed it up pretty nice. And at night you turn it on and it spins. And it has like this green laser that just... A laser? Cut. Yeah. <laughs> so it, like you're like on top of that uh, mountain over there. Uh -huh. There's like a little uh, sea spot. Like a meet out. So I mean... It hits, the laser hits that mountain. You can see it too. So, nice. it's, so this is like a high-tech statue right here, yeah. shooting lasers around. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to this mall. Go check it out. It's like, they sell kind of nerd stuff.